Right, hello. So, the burning question I know you all want to know, and, well, actually I've been asked by a few people. Um, oddly, I've been asked this question by people before I'd even said I was going to swap this inverter out. So I'm not quite sure how that's come about, but a couple of people have asked the same question again, which is, which inverter is heavier? The new one or the old one? Actually, more specifically, what do they weigh rather than which is the heavier one? Now, differences, I mean, this is the old one, and you can see straight away this co whole corner here is kind of missing. It, I mean, it does actually physically just look a lot smaller. Um, yeah, there's a whole lot of material here. This whole corner's cut away as well. So this is where the connector is on the old one. Uh, hi, Gizmo. And uh, in the new one, the connector's like right in here with the new round connector. So it is physically a lot smaller. In fact, the whole back of this is all, is all smaller. <laughs> so I'm expecting the new one to weigh less than the old one. Um, and uh, my cat wants to help as ever. So got my scales, got a bit of wood because these don't balance very well. Um, because of the uh, pokey bits at the bottom. So I'm going to put my, sorry Gizmo, oh mate, yeah, I'm going to put you down, there you go, you sit there for a minute. Right, so, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to do this whilst holding the camera, so let me stop the video, weigh the first one and start up again. And by the magic of editing, it's magically here, and it weighs 14.9 kilos. I'll get that without a shine on, there you go, 14.9, gone. Right, uh, let's put the other one on. Okay, so here's the other one. And it's 12.2, so it's a lot lighter, a lot lighter, and that's 12.2 with a hose attached and the wiring loom. Don't have any of that on that one, so it's about two and a half kilos lighter um, and twice as powerful. Oh, I like those stats a lot. So anyway, very quick video. There you go, that's the weight of the two uh, inverters. The old 80 kilowatt from the Mark 1 Leaf and then the newest E Plus 160 kilowatt Nissan Leaf Mark II converter. Anyway, thank you very much. Catch you later.